Hi guys, I'm a little bit excited because I'm back in my previous town um, that I used to live in and I know where all the op shops are and the one I'm about to go into is Vinnie's and it's totally changed, like the whole aspect of it's changed outside, inside and they've got 50% off denim and I love denim, love denim. Um, I've even covered lounges in denim patches in the past so I do love denim because I think it's just a versatile product and yeah I just love denim jeans so I'm going in there I'm going to quickly turn the camera around so you can see the shop and I'm going to head in here hopefully I'll have a really good day because it's about eight to go to um, the tip shop was shut doesn't open until Saturday Friday Saturday but that's okay um, and here I am ready to go in so I am excited because I love my old old my old haunts so here's the op shop I don't know if you can see it it's changed heaps that's the one I'm about to head into. It's Vinnie's in Bagara, which is a little town um, on the coast of Bundaberg in Queensland. So I'll be back soon. Hi again. Okay, it took a while in there, probably about an hour, I think. Um, I've got myself one, two, three, four pairs of jeans, all for resale. Um, good brands in there, autograph brands and stuff. And they were only $2 a pair, so I'm happy with that. And I've got a really nice pair of men's ones, which I've never heard of before. There was not much in the way of vintage. I've got some really nice quality um, shirts that I've learnt about to grab when you want to resell. But I did get this awesome leather jacket. It's blue. I've got to um, get some airing out of it and give it some, it's got some of the bit of mould spots in. So I've got to get some clover oil and stuff onto that. But it's gorgeous. It's a very vintage one. You can see the label there. Um, and it's also got fur, the sort of uh, fake fur lining and it has had patches on the shoulders just here Someone's take off I didn't notice till I got in the car which is not a biggie because you can put new patches on it But I really like it. It's like a, a funny funky blue. So that's going to go into my funky monkey vintage shop <laughs> Well online shop it's going to be so that's what that's going to be going to I'm sort of going to try and keep my keep my um eBay store as more modern or non-vintage items and then sort of try and get everyone to go into my funky monkey vintage shop so that eventually I can have, fill that up with really authentic awesome vintage and funky upcycled items so that's what I'm doing so I'm heading into um, Bundaberg now and I'm going to one of the lifeline I think I'm going to next because that's in my line of of sight um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get something really awesome there. So I'll let you know. Bye. Okay, low flying was okay. I did pick up a few vintage clothes. I popped some back because so I checked they had a few marks on it. But I picked up, and I'll probably show you more later. I'll try to. Um, this 1980s wedding dress. It was only $7. And I've got a thing for beautiful wedding dresses. I, had a, I have a collection in storage. And I've also sold a lot of wedding dresses in the past. Vintage ones. So this is a 1980s drop waist wedding dress um, a few other little bits of retro 80s things in the back there and I'm hoping that at the end of this I can actually show you some of them maybe hopefully Miss 13 will model them but we'll see what happens um, I'm now going to a little tiny one up the road that doesn't have FPOS so I'm going to take cash in there and it's, uh, you, I, I've picked up really good um, men's um, safari suits in the past so I'm hoping I can pick up something like that because they always sell well this is all going to be going onto my Funky Monkey vintage site eventually. So I'm actually getting a really good load of stuff. So I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned. I don't know what the next one's called. It's a church, little church op shop. So if I had the guts or the proper equipment, I'd probably take you in with me. But it's really hard to hold and look at the same time. I don't know how everyone does it. Um, oh, before I go to the last op shop, I've got some Holly Hobby. Now these are going to go with another Holly Hobby piece that you haven't seen that I got from Tip Shop at um, Beanley, no at Moolamba. Um, so I've got those, they're going to go all together in a little bulk. So if you're a Holly Hobby person let me know. Um, I've got a little plaque as well, a little wooden frame pole arc that's going to go with this lot. Okay so stay tuned, I'm going to probably go to two more, three more and then I'll come back to you guys. So stay tuned. Heading into the op shop I miss the most and that's the guide dogs. Um, I'm going to see if I can keep this on for a bit longer. You might lose me, I don't know. So this is where I'm going to go. This is the one I've missed the most. You get stamps, oh, which I've left in the car, um, every time you spend $10 or more. So at the end of the time, I think about $10, 10, 10 you spend. So $100, you get a $10 for free. So yeah, I'm going to head in here. I'm a bit excited about this one.
often used to find little bits and pieces in this little section. Not much here. Jewelry's all good jewelry. I don't know where it's all gone these days, but I can't find any of the op shops I go to. Where they put some of the good jewelry. I missed out on something years ago. I wish I had a grab, but it's got to be quick around here. Twenty dollars for that sterling um, stainless steel, and three dollars probably sterling silver. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. This op shop because it's not done in a department store style like most of them are these days. It's still, still messy enough to enjoy. Now, I don't need any more shirts, but I always check to see if their labels are any good. Look out for RM Williams and ones like that. Lows have taken over and rivers. I'm crazy, I'm talking to myself. But we know better. Talked about then tea towels, get good quality ones. It's a little bit worn. It's okay, but not really. Anything anyone wants. here. Uh, I always check the dress ups because oftentimes in the dress up section they have the um, vintage clothing as well but I don't think they have it here at the moment. Nothing. Which is disappointing because I get excited when I see vintage and I didn't drop that. Don't look. No, no vintage there. It's all changed of course. Most of them do change over a period of time. It's been I think a year I've been here. So it's all quite squashy and I can't see any vintage and I really don't need more jeans. I've got enough to get rid of as it is, but <laughs> I can't help myself when it comes to jeans. Um, a good place this one too because the church clothes aren't ridiculous prices like at Lifeline the jeans were $8 each. Um, target otherwise I would have got that always look out for the tagged not used ones I mean this target I'm not going to touch it Harry, as you walk through the door, you see the porcelain dolls in the window. I'm probably going way too fast for you guys too, but it's just nothing. I don't often look at each thing individually. I often um, just um, look at patterns. And there's nothing I'm seeing that's grabbing me. Sometimes when it's not too busy, I'll or I'm not in a rush to get other places, I'll go through one at a time. So I've picked up some really nice bags in this section in the past, but there is not really anything super, super nice here. So I'll continue. I always like looking for maxis first and vintage. It'll be nice for summer. Not my day to day here. 
I've picked up some amazing vintage things in this shop in the past. Not today. I'll often ask if I've got vintage, but they always say no when I've asked before. They say it's out on the racks. I'm like, no, well, there's nothing. What's that? No. Oh, looks like, oh no, it's not. Sometimes you get too used to different labels, you know what they are. This is not glamish, I bet. Maybe. I can't even open it so I can tell you. I think it's on here. What is a glow mesh? I wonder how much that is. Ten bucks. Yeah. I'll leave it. If it was one of those gold ones like I had recently, I probably would have been tempted, but no. Back to the books. Well, that looks like that's the same doll as my daughter used to own. <laughs> oh, look at that. She had that exact same doll. She hates dolls. She's 31 now. She hates dolls, but that's exactly the same doll she had as a kid. How cute. Got rid of it years ago. She hates dolls. Even now, she has a daughter. Her daughter is never going to get a doll. Okay, got the books. So, Mickey Mouse Club is vintage. Maybe I'll look, hold on to that. Picture books. Okay, look up here. I've found some really good old books in the past here too. But I don't think today is my day for this. here guys. I wish me luck in the other section. Nothing. At least you get a good look at the op shop. I have to always book crafty stuff as well. Oh that's good. For sure price loom. As a kid I would love something like that. If you can see it look a looming project I would love that that's vintage from the 1970s. I didn't know what was left in there though. Not $2.50, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm the only crafty one in my family. No one else is interested really. So I'm always looking in the craft section. Just in case. Oh, I'm so sad. Some, some nice blankets. I've got enough at the moment, but. Depending on how much it is, I might be tempted to buy another one. This one's really nice. It's got the, I don't know, got someone's name on it. Seven dollars. I'll leave it. Five dollars is probably my limit on those. Oh, so sad. Records are always cheap here. I used to get a lot the day this is the other area and I don't think there's going to be much here guys so I'm going to go now and um, hope you enjoyed that little perusal of my favourite vintage shop which is failing me today but I'll be back soon if I find anything exciting well I'd be, I feel a little bit deflated my favourite op shop had nothing what did I get? I got a Mickey Mouse book and I got a Celtic art book which I'll sell but yeah, I was so disappointed. And then I went to the one across the road here, which is another Vinnie's in town, and they've changed it all around and made it look like a department store too, and I really am not into it. I want to go to a department store. I want to go to Myers or Kmart, and I really don't like those shops. So disappointing, plus I didn't get much there, but I did get Little Miss Giggle and Mr Tickle, which I checked on eBay, and they sell quite well, so they're for selling. The first thing I saw, oh, I got my Miss Miss 13, a really nice jumper, but it's only a modern jumper, but she, I sent her a photo and she wanted it, so she's got that. But I got this book, Alien Book. 
<laughs> it's got really awesome photos in it. It's going to be for sale. Someone's got 79 ridiculous dollars on eBay on it uh, as trying to sell it for that. I won't sell mine for that, but check out some of the awesome photos. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I'll get it for you. Like all that sort of artwork. And I love all that amazing artwork that people do. The, the talent that some people have just amazes me. So I figure I'll give it a bit of a clean up. It's a bit dusty inside and um, I'll be selling that on eBay. But I'm, I'm feeling really sad, guys. There's no vintage. Oh, there is. I shouldn't be selfish because I did get some vintage pieces, but there's nothing that's actually giving me goosebumps. And that's what I go vintage hunting for, for the goosebump factor. Um, right now, I have got three, there's three op shops still in town to do. But I've got to come pick up, I promised Miss 13 I'd pick one of her friends up and take her home. So this is going to be my break in transmission for a bit. Um, I mean, I've got the next few days to do it, but I really wanted to get it done all today so I can do other things over the next couple of days, like my shed. So I'm going to take this one, pick this kid, the kids home, take this girl home, and maybe fit in a couple more op shops. Um, so yeah, wish me luck on the vintage. <laughs> oh, by the time you see this, it'll be too late anyway. But ah, oh, just so many people find such good vintage stuff, and here's me really, really, really wanting to find it, and I can't find any. And yes, I'm asking in the op shops if they've got any. I hope you heard all that. Um, had my arm on the hand on the thing. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I can find some some vintage somewhere. Okay, I hope. When I, edited the, when I edit this, you can actually hear me talking because I don't know. I had my hand on it. But anyway, another messed up video. But I'm going to try again and I'll talk to you again soon. Well, I just did salvos. Oh, my goodness. It's on. It's it's ah, it's a mess. It's on a busy road. They've moved it here a few years ago. It's had a, it had a really good spot before that you could park easy at. I've had to drive in and back into a car park because the car park is so bad. <laughs> Parking here is just like got about eight spots I think and then the highway and to get out of here to go that way I've got to go all the way around I don't even know I can't even you know I really ever go to this op shop for, for the reason it's in a really awkward spot and it's salvos and salvos are usually so expensive but today I didn't do too bad I actually got a I can't get it now because it's on the back but a Roper's uh, Roper vintage Roper shirt western shirt um, and I also got a really pretty sheet because these are great to either use because they're so pretty you can't get them anymore or a lot of people buy them to turn into little tea dresses and I got a string bag because we know we all want to get away from plastic so I've got one of these now I know in storage I've got some but I've got none here with me so I've got a little one of those it's only a dollar um I can't reach but anyway I've got a bass bass guitar book and um it's only a dollar, which I'll probably sell because I know music, musicians and teachers like to find them. But I forgot to show you this one at that little op shop between my failed, sorry, my failed op shop and, yeah, the little op shop I was going to go to. I actually got a Holden jacket. Holden, really good quality Holden jacket, which, which Miss, Miss 13 tried to nab off me. Her father used to wear that sort of stuff. It's really hard to show you here. Um, but it only cost me $3, so... Whether the kids get it or whether I resell it, it's still $3 was a really good buy for that because they sell for quite a bit of money online. Um, I don't hold them. You don't even, can't even, don't even make Holdens over here anymore. So anyhow, that will be an antique or vintage or a collectible eventually. That's it for now. I've got one, I've got two more in town to go to. One I think I'll leave till another day because it's right over that way. And for me to get over that way, I've got to go all the way that way and down and around blocks and... I'm going to save that till I go to the tip shop probably and do that the same day. I don't know, but there's one in town I might duck into as well and that will be it for the day. So I wish me luck on that one and I'll talk to you all soon as I edit this and all the rest of it. Well, I finished off for the day. No, I'm not crying. I have got the itchiest eye at the moment. I can't stop scratching it. Um, I have found and realised I've got two op shops left. So that's going to be it for today and I'll do them another day at the skate park with one of the kids at the moment. But I thought I'd just show you a few of the things I got in the last couple of op shops. Nothing super exciting. I think only one vintage. And uh, um, what was I going to say? Anyway, I'll show you what I've got. Nothing vintage, but I thought that was really funky. It's this really cool shirt. And it's a brand by Glow Weave. But look at the pattern in it. I love the pattern. That's what, what drew me to it. And that's why I got it. Whether I sell it, I might even wear it myself because I really liked it. Miss 13 scored again. I got her this really cool um, 
they call it, you know, that checkered sort of lumber jacket type look with the big buttons um, for $4.50. She hasn't seen it, but it's a hoodie. So I think that's nice than having ugly black hoodies. And I also got this pillow, velvet, is it upside down? It's upside down. Velvety pillow uh, with, the, with the, you know, the lie bird, peacock on it, the lie bird. That's all I got today. Disappointed? Yes, very. But I've got a load of stuff that I want to list. Now, I was going to do a video and show you everything I got, but I'm, I'm knackered. Now, that was a big day, and I had to do a bit of driving to pick up kids and all the rest of it. And um, so I'm not going to do a video of everything I got. I'm going to put everything I got, mostly I think everything I got, on my Nellie's Op Shop Finds group. If you want to know what it is, just ask. And then I'll migrate that over to most of it, not all the vintage, but the other stuff I'll probably migrate over to eBay or my from Grandma's House and Wardrobe group to eBay. I'm going to try and save much, as much as my vintage clothing as I can at this stage to get a, a decent amount of stuff ready for when I um, start the Funky Monkey Vintage store. Um, I'm debating whether to do a Shopify or whether to do an eBay shop, so I'm not sure yet, but that's what I'm going to save up for my vintage bits for. That's it, guys. That's it for the day. I'm going to load up this and have it edited and, you know, all the rest of it. It's as it is. I'm not going to be doing too much fancy stuff to it. Apparently, we're going now because Mr... This is night eight just got in the car, so apparently that's our sign to get going. But I hope you enjoyed today. Um, hopefully I'll get to a stage where I can actually take take the camera inside with me more often so you can see what I'm doing and looking at. But at this stage, i um, got to do it when I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not always ready for it. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. See you, see you soon.